Here's the first pitfall trap that I'm trying out. So you can see what I've done here. I've got my uh, piece of cardboard here covering it all. So it'll be sh nice and shady. Um, inside I've got this container. Now what you can see is I've buried it in the earth and I've sort of put the earth back, tried to make it uh, kind of level, going a bit over the thing so uh, you know insects will fall in. They won't see the lip of the container. Um, now to attract them, I got a, I think that's a piece of like pepperoni or something, and an old watermelon rind. Uh, to stick them both in the bottom there. And I've used sticks here around the perimeter um, so that when I stick this on top, there's still plenty of room they can get under. So uh, I think at night time, some critters are going to seek out that food and uh, we'll check back on it, see what we catch. All right, let's see if we got anything. One day has passed. Ooh, interesting. Looks like we've got a lot of ants. You can see on the side there, we've caught a larger insect. Can you see him there? That's very cool. Ooh, wow. He's a big one. Ooh, you're gonna enjoy this. I will anyway. There's the big beetle. Look at him go. Let's see if we can turn him over. There we are. Wow, look at that. He's huge. And look, we've got some other stuff in there. The pill bug. Ooh. I think one of them is actually the true pill bug and the other is the millipede. Sort of look alike. Yeah, I think that's the millipede one. That beetle is cool. Well, I'm officially impressed with this technique. I'm using chopsticks because I'm not sure what species it is and it's quite possible that he's uh, poisonous or dangerous in some way. There, I've got him. Now I'm just going to place him down right over here. So far his behavior has been um, just sort of staying put, perhaps playing dead. Let's see if I can provoke him to bite this chopstick. Come on. No, he's pretending to be dead. Let's see where he goes. Where'd he go?